since I started this channel this week, I received a number of requests for uh, focusing on different topics for the upcoming videos. Not surprisingly, one of the requests that I've been receiving over and over is to get more information on the swordsmith Masamune. As most of the people watching uh, here will know, Masamune is regarded as, um, if not the greatest swordsmith in uh, the history of Japan, he is one that's uh, undoubtedly the most famous. Uh, he's known to have been uh, one of the founding swordsmiths from the Soshu tradition, and his name is taken as equivalent to Soshu. Uh, so I think it would be good to give a little bit of background on sword making in uh, the area of Kamakura, where the Soshu tradition is from, and also to talk a little bit about Masamune, his school, and his students. Generally, the Soshu tradition is thought of as being the beginning of sword making in Kamakura, but there is a history of sword making in that area going back to the Heian period. At that time, the Mogusa smiths were active, and unfortunately, there isn't a lot of information now about the specific smiths who are working within the Mogusa school or, or having many signed examples of their work, uh, but we do know that during the Heian period, there were in the range of 300 Mogusa smiths active. Later, the regent Hojo Tokiori, who himself is known to have been an appreciator of Japanese swords, began bringing swordsmiths to the area of Kamakura. Some of those early smiths who were the progenitors of the Soshu tradition were uh, Bizen Saburo Kunimune, the Ichimonji smith Ichimonji Skezane, uh, and of course the Yamashiro smith Wadaguchi Kunetsuna. Given their presence, it could be said that the Soshu tradition is based on influences both from Bizen and from Yamashiro. They were followed by the swordsmith Shintogu Kuninetsu, who is said to have been the true founder of the Soshu tradition. While Shintogu Kuninetsu worked generally in the style that we consider to be pure Yamashiro Den, he left us with a tanto called the Midare Shintogo, which is considered to be the first true Soshu work. In this blade, there is a wide midare, or irregular hamon, that's very much in the style of what we associate with Soshu works. While it used to be said that Soshu Yukimitsu was the father and teacher of Masamune, today we generally regard Masamune as being a direct student of Shintoku Kunimitsu. There isn't a great deal of information about the man Masamune himself. Um, what we know is that his birth name was Okazaki Goro, and looking at the older historical records, they refer to him as Goro Nyudo Masamune, with Nyudo being a reference to his being a lay priest. During the 1890s, there was a theory put forward by Imamura Choga that Masamune didn't exist at all. His rationale was that we didn't have any signed examples of his work, uh, and that there was no strong historical proof that he existed. But the reality is that we do have several signed examples in the form of Tonto, uh, and there is also written documentation of Masamune and how he fits within the lineage of Soshu Smiths, um, which is the book, the Kanichi Bonmei Zukushi. And that's a book that was published during the Oi period in early Muromachi, but it is based on a, a reference that supposedly dates to the Showan era through Showa in late Kamakura. So that's squarely during the time period when Masamune was alive. This book outlines the lineage of the Soshu smiths and shows that Masamune, Yukimitsu, Kunihiro, and Kunishige were all direct line students from Shintogu Kunimitsu. And with that, I'll bring this first video on Masamune and his school to a close. With the next video, I'll talk a bit more about those details which define Masamune's work and discuss his famous students which continue the Soshu tradition after him. Thank you for listening in, and if you have been enjoying these videos, please do subscribe to this channel for future updates.